Hi, my name is Tyra, um, aka Chubby or Mama Sita YA on Instagram. So today I'm gonna be talking about dating, and I hope you guys don't mind me looking down because I wrote everything in my journal um, so that I won't forget. Let's get this started. Keep your standards high. Don't date someone um, because you feel lonely. Don't date someone because all your friends are in relationships and you feel left out. Don't date someone because of social media. Do not date someone because of social media. Ever. Oh my god, I've seen so many people wanting to be in relationships because of the relationship goals and whatever on social media like Instagram and Twitter or whatever. Like, do not do that to yourself because, first of all, most of those relationships are fake. Um, most of them are cloud chasers and most of them their partners are cheating on them so don't date someone because oh you want to post them on social media um because you, you want to show off like it's it's okay to post your 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 lover or whatever it's okay to post your lover because you know trying to show everyone that you're in love and that's great or whatever but don't do it because of cloud don't do it because you want to be a part of the trend or whatever you know don't do that to yourself it's it's not gonna work out date someone because you want to be in that relationship you 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 feel like you want to be around them for genuine reasons obviously um and you just love the com their company um they respect you Date them because they respect you. Date them because they adore you. They um they're passionate about you. Date them because you are passionate about them and you are interested in them. And you know the affection and 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 love is reciprocated between one another. You know. Don't just make sure that you have feelings for them. Make sure that you have genuine genuine feelings for the person. Don't just and a lot of a lot of people i've seen i mean you can tell if a relationship is fake through social media cuz it's just you you'll tell you know um some people do it because now you get money for it you get money for being in a relationship um through youtube we have like um what do you call this a uh youtube channel <laughs> oh yes um you guys have a youtube channel and it's all cute whatever don't okay the second thing is the second thing is make sure you are not doing everything within the relationship and i mean it's okay to like be the first one to take someone or call them, you know, sometimes. But then if it's all the time, if you the only person within the relationship that's making the effort, then the relationship is not going to work. Because it's tiring. Honestly, like, I feel like for me personally, within, when I'm in a relationship, it gets very tiring to be the only one who's making effort. Because make sure you if you feel if you feel like you're the only person within the relationship that's making the effort and who's giving affection and who's showing emotion whatever then you need to leave because begging someone isn't cute i'm sorry like it's not cute at all don't do that to yourself don't beg <sighs> no if you feel like your efforts, even if your efforts aren't even recognized or appreciated within the relationship, I feel like at least communicate with the, your third partner. And if after you guys communicated, that person is still acting the same and hasn't changed their actions in any way, then leave because you've tried. And it's good that you tried, so you know that the the relationship ending is not your fault. So, psh. 
you know? Okay. So, the third thing is... Don't beg for commitment. Do not beg for commitment. Do not beg for love. Do not beg for anything. I hate... Like, don't beg within the relationship. You don't need to beg. The fact that you, if you need to beg within a relationship, that should tell you something. You know what I mean? That should tell you that something's not working and your guys need to either fix it or part ways, period. Like, if you've been vocal with your emotions and you're still not getting what you want, I don't feel like... I feel like there's no need for you to still stay within the relationship because then you're hurting yourself and you are acting like a fool, honestly. Because you've tried and you've communicated and you've voiced your opinion or whatever and nothing has changed. Like, what is there for you to stay for other than love? Love is not going to bring you happiness within the relationship you may love that person but you're not going to be happy with them within the relationship so why stay don't don't nag them don't chase them like don't beg you know like just don't beg don't don't do that to yourself don't put and don't put pressure on them because i feel like this is very important don't put pressure on them if you've voiced your opinion and when you want something else obviously and they're just not ready for that. Sometimes it's not about even you. It's about them. You know. Maybe they're not ready for a commitment. Or maybe they're not just ready to be in a relationship like that. Or maybe they are ready. It's just that they don't see that with you. And that's okay. Like not everyone's going to be for you. So if they've told you. Make sure, make sure that they tell you that okay, no, listen, I don't think this is right for us, I don't think this is right for me, um, I don't see you in my future, why not, why not, why not, part ways, cool, you know, <laughs> number four, number four is like number three, if they're avoiding you, avoid dead, like, if, if you can you can tell you can honestly tell if someone's avoiding you so i feel like if someone is avoiding you you shouldn't continue pursuing that person you shouldn't now try keep calling them and texting them and doing all of the things like this is something that i actually learned recently that if someone isn't giving you the attention that you want and the someone is purposely ignoring you and avoiding you you can tell and if they are don't beg don't like link don't beg them just step back for a moment because sometimes they don't even realize it, you know what i mean sometimes they don't even realize that they're avoiding you they're just trying to play cool or whatever take a step back for like a while don't talk to them if they actually care, they're going to text you and they're going to call you like, hey, what's up? We haven't been speaking for a while. What's going on? If not, then you know what to do, honestly. I don't need to repeat myself. But, yeah. Um, number five. If you have a toxic mindset, you're going to end up within a toxic relationship. If you're insecure about the relationship because of your past relationships or first of all if you are insecure about relationships because of your past relationship i feel like you don't need to be in another relationship you need to take a step back work on yourself and your mindset before you even think about getting into another relationship but if you are that's just like a red f like if you are i feel i feel like it it but if you are it's going to show through your body language that you are insecure about the relationship it's going to show 
just like your whole energy is just gonna change around that person or even up if the topic comes up in any way your your body language is gonna show that you are uncomfortable and you're insecure about the relationship and you just you scared you scared and two things could happen two things one that person could take advantage of that and they could use you they can like manipulate you and they oh no it's okay don't be scared what 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 and then they use that insecurity that you have they're gonna use that that fear that you have of the relationship to 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 manipulate you in so many different ways like and kind of like puts like if you're already in the relationship it puts so much strain within the relationship and it's not gonna work out that person might be scared to even like do anything to text you or call you or because you just feel like in some way they're either hurting you or they feel like it's just they ha- now they have to put an extra effort just to show you i mean they have to put an extra effort just to show you that they care even if they do you know like no one wants to now put an extra 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 effort just like just to show you that listen i care about you i love you you know whatever so if it, don't do that don't have a toxic mindset going into a relationship it's a, it's a bad idea you're not gonna end up happy you're not gonna end up satisfied with yourself or with the relationship and you're just gonna be miserable throughout so don't do that number six open yourself up now i know a lot of people who are very closed up and who don't like talking about their feelings they don't like talking about who they are their past or whatever i'm one of those people it's very hard for me to talk about certain things especially my feelings but i realized that if i want to be in a relationship and i see someone who i'm interested in and they're interested in me i kind of have to open up a little just to let them in just to show them who i am and you know what i'm about you know like the tiny things you don't have to now tell them your whole life story or the, or whatever like just kind of tell them a few things that could hint that hey the fact that i'm telling you this means that you're special to me and i want to get you get to know you more like you want to get to know me so yeah just open yourself up to to to, to new people and to new things and just learn how to express your emotions yeah number seven stop thinking about the future if you're in a relationship just stop thinking about the future live in the present don't think oh but what if we don't last what if um they end up cheating on me what if um like all the what ifs like do not do that to yourself like don't I feel like if the relationship will end badly or if something's going to happen within the relationship, you're going to know. Thinking about the future, just like all the what ifs, all the um, maybe, maybe it's not going to work out, maybe this in, in the near future, how long are we going to last, all of that just needs to be thrown out the window, honestly like just just like focus on the present focus on the now just being with them having fun i mean you are young you don't need to be worrying about how long you guys are gonna last honestly you guys could get married you guys could break up in three months you know like not anything could happen so don't stress about that do not live in the moment enjoy live in the moment enjoy the, the the relationship enjoy being in love enjoy or liking someone just enjoy feeling wanted and loved and cared for you know what i mean just like don't worry about what's gonna happen in the near future but yeah guys that is all for today's video um i didn't have a lot of time to actually sit down and think about this properly because of certain things that just happened in my life 
um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys took something from this video um if you did please make sure to like and comment down below um and subscribe to my to my channel um i uh, hope that i take my own advice some some of the advice i do take some not so much maybe when i find someone that i am interested in i might um but for now i'm single and i'm happy so i don't really need the advice the dating advice but yeah so yeah um i think that's it <laughs> i'll see you guys next time bye